Frontier FX. Going over the European Open here, 3rd of January. Second trading day of the year. Uh, let's take a look at this cable. We were looking at the long side yesterday. We got what we wanted through 135.50. We're now 136.08. Uh, not quite clear on what's going to happen here, but there should be a pause up at 136.61 the first time up there. So this looks like a sell at 136.55.65 the first time up. And then we'll have to see. Uh, I don't know what the catalyst is going to be in the European morning here. We have construction PMI, 10.30 Central European time. Could be interesting, but uh, not really sure. Take a look at this gold chart. As we said yesterday, we're getting a bit cautious, all these green bars. We still printed a higher high today at 21. Back off 7 bucks. Uh, is this a top? Is this a turn? Not super clear. No trade in gold. We're just watching it as sort of a harbinger of like, is there some bad news around the corner if gold keeps going up? Dollar yen is a beautiful chart. Take that daily. 112.05. Uh, even though it's not on this chart, trust trust me. This is the 200. This is the 100 day moving. Moving average at 05, it's now been the low a couple of times. There's a low at the figure. Plenty of people are talking about dollar yen higher. So there's going to be some buying, I think, figure 5. So it could be a little bit of a two way interest there. But through the figure, if we get a story, maybe bonds higher or maybe equities lower. Um, this looks quite interesting. We're gonna we're gonna be getting short below the figure, and then once we get a trade down there, we're gonna add to shorts on any bounces up to twenty one twelve twenty. So that's quite interesting as a chart. Sterling, I mean Aussie yen. We talked about this yesterday. Very, very close to an important bearish engulfing after massive green bars. Didn't quite get what we wanted, but we'll be selling 87.65s today in Aussie yen. Euro yen, similar chart as you can imagine. This could go either way. Uh, 135.68 or 135 the figure are the levels to watch. We're favoring downside 135 the figure. Even though stocks put in a bit of a, a bit of a strong day, surprisingly, we're still uh, looking to be short below 2667. So nothing was entered yesterday. Looks like we're going to be trying to break this 2700 today. I'm not sure we're going to have the energy for that. I'm definitely not chasing the long side. Uh, as listeners know, we have a bias short side for the first 30 trading days of the year based on what we think is going to be selling interest featured from tax reform. Anything else worth talking about? Just going through. Let's look at the CAC. Uh, I often don't trade this I don't trade this too often but interesting technical setup two daily lows and the 200 day moving average at 52.59 I don't really have a great feel or get the heartbeat of the uh, French equity market but it's a quite a cool little setup here and you have this gap down to 52.40 that needs to be filled, which will add some momentum through this. I don't should open higher today, based on where U.S. equities closed. We'll see in the next uh, next 30 minutes or so. But this is an interesting level. We're gonna we're gonna play with the CAC a little bit. Je ne sais quoi, mais on verra. Avec le CAC.
Haha, <laughs> how's the French? Anyway, um, got our CAC there, and one last uh, chart worth sharing Caterpillar. Ooh -wee. As you all know, we always get cautious when we see these big multiple green bar days for no reason. It's not like the earnings killed it. It's not like there's a real reason that this thing is going to go up 20%. And then we see this big bearish engulfing at the highs. We will be smacking the pony, as they say, in Caterpillar through 156 today. So that could be some fun stuff in the New York session. Anyway, that's enough for now in Europe. Focus uh, is on these yen products. Left hand side, Aussie yen. We're looking and waiting for left hand side dollar yen. We will not enter until we see prices below 112. And that's about it. I guess, real quick, I should mention Euro sterling. Quite a bearish day yesterday. Made the new high up at 89.18. And now is uh, fully bearish engulfed. Here we are at making new lows in about uh, in a minute or two, 88.57. If you're going to get short this, you might as well wait for this moving average to break, which is at 55. And if you're selling 55s, you can leave a pretty tight stop on this, 68, 67 and look for a little bit of a continuation. Not sure what's going on in Euro Sterling, but oftentimes when you're not sure, especially at the beginning of moves, you can just close your eyes and jump in. So check out this Euro Sterling. We're not trading it today, but it is a good technical setup. All right, that's it. See you guys at the New York Open. Thanks. Ciao.